This is calculator question number 35. The College Board is asking us to find the ratio of dynamic pressures using this equation for two velocities. So Q for the slow fluid is 1 half, which I'll write as 0.5, times N times V squared, and we just get the velocity as V. And Q for the fast fluid is, again, 0.5 times N, and now it's times 1.5 V. That whole 1.5 V, the quantity is squared. The product is squared. So Q fast over Q slow is the ratio of the faster to the slower. So our ratio, which is Q fast over Q slow, is 0.5 N times 1.5 V quantity squared over 0.5 N times V squared. 0.5 N over 0.5 N is 1, or as we usually say, they cancel. So my ratio is equal to, I can distribute the exponent to each factor inside the parentheses. I can't do that with terms in a binomial, but these are factors. So it's 1.5 squared v squared over v squared. v squared over v squared, well, anything over itself is 1. So my ratio is 1.5 squared, which on my calculator should be 3 halves squared is 9 fourths, or 2.25. And that's the ratio of the dynamic pressure of the faster fluid to the slower fluid. College Board often asks us to apply equations like this based on changes in the conditions where we have an abstract quantity like velocity v rather than a specific velocity and another abstract quantity relative to the first one. So make sure this makes complete sense to you because you are likely to see it on your SAT. And come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.